Hi you guys, this is Niall Lynn. Thanks for tuning in and this is How to Adopt a Rescue Dog. So there are different sites. There is adoptapet.com and then there's also Pet Finder. So you just go in to the sites and you put in your zip code and you just type it in there and then you pick a breed. Now we were looking for hypoallergenic breeds because I'm a little allergic to dogs, but as you can see, they have all these different categories here as well as any type of dog that you could possibly want this specific breed. So you can actually get a purebred dog from a rescue. Um, you don't need to go to a breeder. Now, if you're you know, wanting a show dog, then yeah, you can go to a breeder, but make sure that it's a breeder that actually cares for its animals and not a puppy mill. And I'll do another video that explains the differences. So in New York, you might be looking for a small dog or if you travel a lot. Um, I go see my parents a lot, so I was specifically looking for a dog that I could take with me to see my parents and a dog that I wouldn't be allergic to. And so a lot of my searches were for carry-on cuties. And then I also searched um, specifically dogs such as Shih Tzus, Maltese, Yorkies, things that are dogs that are hypoallergenic. Now, um, it's actually recommended that you get an adult dog or a, an older dog because, you know, an adult dog won't have, you won't need as much time to take care of it. We searched all of these categories and we even applied for senior dogs and we just happened to end up with a puppy. So I'm going to search puppies right now because they're cute and they're cute to look at. We didn't care what color our dog was. Um, we wanted it to be small so that, you know, it would be comfortable in our apartment because we live in Manhattan. And I did want a female dog because I'm really girly and I like girly, girly little girly dogs. So you fill it in. You do a search. You press search right there. And then it comes up. And you can save this and continue. Or you can say, like, you know, click off, send it to my email they, you know, would you like the search sent to your emails? Now I did do that. I did say save and continue and it would email me regularly the type of dogs that I was looking for. That made it easier. That's how I found our little Shih Tzu. Um, cause I was specifically searching Shih Tzus because they're hypoallergenic. So if you have allergies, that's a good dog. There's a lot of other kinds. So then you just scroll down you can find, Oh, look at all these puppies here. You see these doggies are all available. And these ones are all in New York. Now our rescue puppy is actually coming from Kentucky. But these are available in New York. Oh, look at these cuties. Look at this one. Aberdeen. What a cool name. So this dog's actually available in Staten Island. And it's a little female puppy. Let's see what kind of dog she is. She is a mini pincher chihuahua mix. Oh, she's cute. Look at her. So then it'll tell you all the information about the dog that you need to know. It's already spayed and up to date on the shots. Um, not good with kids though, but good with other dogs. So see, it has all the information that you might need to know. But if you're a single girl in Manhattan and you don't have kids, this might be a good dog for you. Then it'll tell you all the information about the rescue and you'll have to fill out the adoption application. Now, a lot of the rescues will also say, hey, we're gonna be at PetSmart these days so you can come meet our pets that doesn't guarantee that this specific dog will be there but you know other pets will be there and it'll tell you all about adopting that you must be 21 years of age um there, you have to fill out the the adoption paperwork and then you pay an adoption fee the adoption fee is a donation to the rescue so i believe it's tax deductible i'm not sure about that but as you can see here it's not super cheap but as we know, to pay for a chihuahua at a store is going to be at least that much. And at least this way, the money is going to a rescue. So that's one of the sites. Here is another one of the sites right here, Pet Finder. It's similar. You just put in a zip code. And then you say a type of dog or type of animal. Oh, we can do a cat. Let's do a cat this time for the people that might have cats. And then you put in a breed. Uh, let's say any, any, any. We don't, we don't care what breed. We just want to find a cat. We just want to find a kitty cat. Oh, look at these kitty cats. Look how pretty they are. Oh, I used to have a cat that looked like that when I was little. Similar. So it'll see all the kitty cats. Look how cute they are. That are for adoption. Look at this one, spaghetti. Spaghetti's not good with other cats. That's what that little sip of right there means. So you can pick a cat that you like. 
and click on it. Let's go back to that cutie that we found up here. Look at this pretty kitty. Short haired black and white cat. And it'll tell you this one's named Nissan where it's available. It'll have other pictures of the cat that you can look at. And it'll tell you, looks like it's a nice playful kitty. Tell you all kinds of things about it. It'll tell you where the rescue is, all kinds of details. Um, everything that you need to know as well as the contact information and you can talk click here and contact the organization and then you fill out your name and your email and everything and this little thing that says you're a human being you know that they do and then you'll send it and if you get picked you will be contacted now adoption is a little competitive they get thousands of applications and so you got to be quick so that's how to find an adoptable animal at a rescue online. I hope that helps. Bringing a rescue into your life is just so joyous. We're so happy to do it. We're picking up our Shih Tzu puppy girl tomorrow and I will videotape all of it for you. So happy rescuing and um, fill your life with love and rescue a sweet little animal. Have a great day. This is Niall Lynn. Thanks for tuning in.